Happy Tuesday, everybody. Dr. Z here with another episode of Tooth Teacher Tuesday. Picking up where we left off a few weeks ago, discussing different options for replacing a missing tooth or multiple teeth. Today, specifically talking about our removable option, which, you know, in the case of somebody who's missing all their teeth, that, of course, is a full denture. And we won't go into that too much today. That will be a topic for another video. But that, of course, is a removable option for replacing all the teeth. But for someone who's missing one tooth or maybe just a few teeth, the other re removable option for replacing their teeth would be something called a removable partial denture, or an RPD. And as I mentioned last time, RPDs come in a variety of sizes, shapes, materials, but typically they're going to look something more or less like this. You can see there's kind of some metal in the areas where there aren't teeth and some little wire clasps that wrap around our anchor teeth. And so to give you a very brief rundown of, of partial dentures, you know, typically they'll be made out of some kind of metal to give them strength. Now there are other types of partials that can be made without metal, especially for someone who either has a metal allergy or doesn't want any metal to be visible in their mouth. So more of a cosmetic thing. And um, in those cases, again, we can make them without metal. They're just not going to be as strong. <clears throat> but otherwise, partials are kind of a beautiful thing because they can be tailored and custom fit to match just about any situation as far as which teeth are missing, whether it's one tooth or multiple teeth, you know, we can design partials to match just about any situation. And I would say the biggest complaint, you know, if we're talking pros and cons with partials, the biggest complaint is that, you know, some people don't like having something that's removable, that they would rather have something permanent that they don't have to worry about taking in and out because partials do require a lot of maintenance and upkeep. You know, typically you can eat with them in, but sometimes they'll get food underneath them that you'll have to take them out in between meals to clean and certainly want to clean them at least daily to help get, you know, prevent anything from getting soiled or having any kind of bacteria or mold growing on them. And um, don't want to sleep with them in at night, so you want to take them out, which for some people can be a deal breaker as well. But partials are great because they are probably the easiest and most cost-effective way to replace multiple teeth. Now, when it comes to replacing just one single tooth, Again, partials can be designed to do that, although realistically, if we're talking about one single tooth being replaced, it's generally considered more cost effective to go with a different option, either a bridge or an implant. Again, it can be done, but partials really shine when we're trying to replace several teeth, as in this example here. But, as I said, partials can be worn while you're eating. That's what the little metal clasps are for. Unless it doesn't have metal in it, then there's acrylic clasps. But those clasps lock on to your own natural teeth that you have left and help anchor things. And there again, that can be a good thing, it can also be a bad thing, because if if that anchor tooth or anchor teeth, if it's 
in any way compromised, for example, if it's had a root canal. And we've talked at length in the past about how root canal teeth are fragile to begin with. But if an anchor tooth has had a root canal and you've got a partial that locks onto that, that gripping force from those clasps and the on and off motion through the years, that cycle can eventually cause your other natural teeth to have issues. Like the biggest one I can think of would be breaking or chipping of those natural teeth. Again, it doesn't always happen, but that is one of the risks with partials because we're putting those forces on your teeth. But again, just to kind of summarize pros and cons, pros of a partial, easiest and most cost-effective way to replace multiple teeth. Cons would be, you know, not as effective for replacing a single tooth. It can be done, but not as effective and also just the inherent negative effects of you know, having something that's removable and having something that is dependent on other teeth. So that is, in a nutshell, what partials are. Kind of last thing I'll throw in there that again, will be a subject for another video, is there's a specific type of partial called a flipper. And a flipper is essentially just a temporary partial that's to be worn while someone's healing from an extraction. It's not intended to be a long-term or permanent solution. Um, but those are important, especially because with partials or with our other two replacement options of bridges or implants, typically we don't want to fabricate those permanent replacement options until someone's fully healed from any extractions. And so flippers become important because um, we don't want you going without teeth, especially front teeth, when, uh, when you're going through that healing period. So. A lot of information to throw at you for one video, but I hope you found it all informative and helpful. And we will continue talking about our replacement options here in a few weeks, the next subject being bridges. But until then, I want to thank you for your time this morning and hope you'll join me next time. Have a great week.